lefty, you did see the picture. And I was kind of wondering, like, dog, why did they post this picture of Meek? And then when he kind of went into detail about it, people don't know what we're talking about. Meek, I guess, took his son and his and Meek's son's friends um out of the country for vacation to an island or something. For so Meek Mill, so yeah, for his son's birthday. So Meek for his oldest son. Um, so Meek posted a picture of, I guess, like he was playing in the sand or something, or they was in the water, whatever case may be, because you could tell, like, that's the only way sand, like, really was the way the sand was stuck on his face. It was, it looked like, okay, he just got out of the water. He may be just playing in the sand with his kids. And like in context of what was going on, I get it now. It's kind of like, I'm being a dad, dog. Y'all dragging and they're trying to make it something that is not. I get it because he was saying, like, I don't pay the blogs to post me. So, of course, they're going to do anything to tear me down. And even when he making jokes about because everybody know. making jokes about it. But because I'm not in bed with y'all, I'm not spending no money with you. You have no reason to defend me because that was a homegirl of mine sent me a picture. Like, I forgot it was something else. And I'm like, oh, why did they use this picture? Meek, Meek Mill's got a million pictures. Why are y'all using the picture to talk about whatever he got going on with 50 Cent is the stuff with him in this, like the, the recent picture that he posted on his Insta story with sand on his face like what's the point of that but when he going into detail and breaking it down like these blogs posting me like this because i'm not i don't have no pr company they i don't i'm not paying them i'm not like i'm not in bed with them and that's why they trying to just tear me down every chance they get to sit here and lean into the jokes and which is but like, that's why but i even looking at if you don't have a pr i just feel like meek you don't have to respond to everything you don't have to literally because even with the whole situation with him and his um the, the, the youngest one mother mm -hmm. like you went on it you put your rant out and but you can't like right right now the climate that you got me i feel like you shouldn't even be on social media at all whatever you doing whatever you moving just stay off of social media because i feel like everything that you sit here and say they're gonna draw back oh no diddy or no diddy this no did that you 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 have a, a bad stink to your name and i feel like even with you you explain it all oh, well i ain't tripping because i'm on vacation with my kids but it's just like if you didn't post it, they wouldn't have nothing. Yeah, to I, I get what you're saying, but I but I agree with what he was saying is though, like, because real, let's be real. Listen, we just let's just let's use our common sense. Is Meek's not hot enough music wise for Meek to get posted as much as he do. And that's probably what he felt like. No, if I'm not, if my music ain't really sticking and I'm not doing nothing, why y'all keep posting me then? Leave me a fuck alone. I'm not if I'm not lit music wise, why are y'all keeping posting me on the blogs? Why do you even why are you even checking what I'm tweeting or why are you even checking my Insta story to even get this picture? I didn't post this on my page, I posted this on my Insta story. So somebody I had to look at this picture, screenshot it, and then post it on it. Like, I'm not lit. If I'm not lit enough music wise, and that's why I kind of agree with him, is like, you're trying to tear me down. So you basically sitting here saying, I can't enjoy my social media like regular people because y'all will just sit here and try to spin the narrative about me all the time. That's why I kind of, I felt with what he was saying, and I agree with what he was saying. But that's why I say, I just feel like even with me, you just attach your stuff. You're, you're attached to a lot of the wrong things. Because even like the whole him and the Wale thing, that whole little transpire, whatever they had, it, it went away. While they still posting, they not sitting there saying, "Oh, well, you know what I'm saying." So, but that's, but, so, so that's so, my point. So, but, Meek probably feel like I should be treated the same way you can't treat be Wale. Treated, but you can't be treated that you can't be treated the same way because you're still a child. If you did not have no affiliation with the whole Diddy thing, then yes, you could. But I feel like that's what just keep coming back and keep. Oh, okay, circuit. so 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 time on, time on, time on. So let's so let's 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 keep it right there with what you said. Then that's if that's the case, then so is Wale. They, their name is mentioned this is the same but, way but, that, but 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 listen but but what while that allegation was and what he didn't even cuz he he didn't even speak he, yes, he did speak out no, of no, when Glizzy said something about no, him getting hungry Glizzy said but I, I don't think nobody else cuz somebody else brought it up too and I don't think he really I think it was just the Aunt Glizzy part where he he spoken about I don't think nobody else said cuz somebody else when it came into one of the papers I thought one of them yeah, it was in one of the lawsuits, and that's how Aunt Lizzie came about and told the story. Oh, see, I thought he thought it. I thought he told it before it came about. No, no, it before was the, the, I thought I thought he told that story before that mm -mm. before that came about. No, 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 no. He probably already told it, but he retold it again after it came up. But that's why I'm, I'm just that's why I'm saying just with Meek. I feel but like Meek this not. Is, this is what I'm saying, Marcus. It's the same thing. That's my point. What that's the, why the point he's proven he's absolutely right because if you're not attaching Wale to every situation, then why are you sitting here trying to drag me into? It? You're trying to drag me because realistically, you know it's clickbait. Y'all trying to make it seem like I'm irrelevant, but obviously you want to keep using my name and my and trying to use me as a joke because obviously I'm still relevant. You you want people because the the infatuation and the love that people got for Meek, a lot of rappers don't have. Like just how Meek came up, his story, the reason why people fell in love with his character and his persona of who he was. That's the reason why they keep trying to tear him down because it's like, oh, he's just tearing this street dude down. And I, I, I kind of like, I can't disagree with what he's saying. Like, you can say, yeah, don't, but why can't I? I'm, I'm, I'm enjoying my son's birthday. I took him on a jump. Why can't I post? Because y'all sit here trying to turn me into some goddamn punchline or some joke. That's cool. Like, I'm, I agree with him. That's corny, dog. And you got to, and I believe, and I'm one of the people who always call out their blogs because I do feel like they constantly try to paint certain people in a certain way or even how they try to gatekeep when it comes to content. Like, you, if you really pay attention to most of these blogs, especially like the uh, neighborhood 
hood talk or like the shade room, bro, they only post like the same 20 people. Mm-hmm. You know how many people out here, just like when we talked about the teacher, dog, you know how many people out here create content all day long? So for you to only sit here and act like it's only 20 black people that's alive, these are the only people that we gonna sit here and post the same exact 20 people. Like, come on, what are we doing? Yeah, but that, that's it. That's the society we are. We our, our algorithm and what's trendy. Yeah, but it's corny. You gotta be able to call it out. And you kind of and I'm not about I'm that's why I said I'm with Meek. Like that is corny. Like you can clear as day. Like what when a homegirl sent me, I'm like, bro, why did they use this picture of him? Where did they find this picture at and why are they using it? But that's why I just I also, like I said, I get on I I, I put a lot of blame on Meek. It's just if you enjoy yourself, then you don't have to, you don't really have to because my thing is the only thing about him, if you're not promoting that or you not saying joy, enjoy your life. You don't have to see him post it. And that's why I say even me with having kids, I don't have to post my kids with me all the time. But I don't sit in and post that. I don't have to. But that's what I'm saying with him is if even if you know you have that tension on your eyes, I feel like you you kind of do feed into it to to see what you can get back. You don't have you sitting there saying you out of the island, you out of the country or whatever the case may be, then enjoy it. When you come back, then all right, cool. But if you out there, you doing whatever you're doing, then enjoy it. You can't get mad because the internet is going to still be the internet. It's going to do what it's going to do. Of course. I mean, that, I mean that's something that you can't never beat. You can't never beat the internet being the internet. But I can still call out the blogs when it. I got the platform no, you to do it. it. But, but, that, but that's that's how they get paid. That's how they do it. We, just like with TMZ and all of them. They don't, they don't get paid for putting out positive information. They give it out. They get paid for the dirt or whatever they can get up. And this, you know, I can put this on. Uh, no, no, of course. And I mean, and, and, and I'm with you on that one. You're absolutely right. And I think I was watching a clip. Jim Jones was doing an interview and somebody was they was talking about that. And he was getting mad. Matter of fact, it was him and Rod Strickland. And they was doing an interview together. And he and Rod Strickland kind of was defending the blogs like, bro, that's how people do get paid. It, it, yeah. We live in a clickbait era where people are trying to make the click. The headline got to be the craziest headline to get more clicks because that is the place we live in. And I'm sure for most of the people you like, you want to still. For most humans, you want to have success, but you want to have it with some form of integrity. You don't want to have to live and die on the clickbait. You want to be able to have conversations without sitting here making it like, what's the low hanging fruit? The same way when I talked about the Kendrick Lamar and Drake thing, like how can I still have conversations about music without sitting here talking about the conversation to everybody else? And then you know what's so crazy? But, no, and, and but before you even say that, it's just like shit, I was just the other day. I was I forgot what movie it was, and I seen Wendy Williams in the movie. And she was doing an interview, whatever. I forgot what movie it was. She was doing it. Was one, it was a movie I was watching. She was interviewing somebody in it. And I was just like, damn, it's kind of crazy how that whole Wendy Women's conversation kind of died down. It was hot that whole, you know, blah, blah, blah. But with her, that's how she got paid. That's how she that's how she made her name by going and reporting that mm-hmm. type of information. Cause I forgot what movie it was. It was some movie that she was in, and she was being the little nasty reporter. Oh, you did such and such, or you was mm-hmm. with, but that's how you known for that's what you get your likes and get but, paid. But but my thing, I get I, I agree with what you're saying, but then that would be my point. My only point for Meek was the same thing I said about him a couple months ago. You can't be mad at the blogs or academics if you haven't helped build up the next academics. And again, that's when I said well, for low hanging fruit, the easy thing is like, OK, if you are artist and you feel like that, we need somebody else to even combat and go up against academics. Well, OK, we'll build that person up. You have to help give that person a platform. If you see somebody, I don't care if they only got 500 or 1000 views. Well, you can you're being meek meals. You can take that person from 500 or 1000 to at least 10 to 20,000 or 50,000 and help them build from there. But you only complaining and not helping somebody else build up. It's kind of like you working with the system because you not, you're not shedding no light on nobody else. So you, you are part of the problem as well. So that's my only thing to me. It was like, you can't get mad at academics or you can't get mad at the shade room or any of these other blogs. If you're not helping build up the next blog or platform to go against these people. So I mean, you kind of got to deal with it. That's the handling that you deal. You don't want a PR person. He said he ain't had a PR person in like over two years. So if you don't want a PR person and you don't want to sit here and help build nobody up, then that's when I will agree with you. He just needs to stay on social media then. Because you can't be mad at social media. Social media is going to do what social media do. You can't be mad at social media if you're not going to sit here and help give the next person a platform to at least be the per- the voice another voice that people can choose where I don't have to only choose academics. I'm That's the only voice that I'm familiar with. And let's be clear, black people, the sad thing is a lot of us are dick riders. So you only going to go with the voice that got a bunch of numbers. You may see somebody with a platform talking about the same exact thing, but it only got 50 views. You just going to go past it because it don't got 500,000. So you're going to value, you feel like I value the person with 500,000 views opinion more because they got 500,000 views instead of the person with 50. And that's so, like I said, Meek, you got to take a little bit of that blame too. And while we just talking about all of these just miscellaneous things, 
Soldier Boy and Metro Boomin was going back and forth. And the, and the great thing I love, Soldier Boy took it to complete hell. And you know what I love about it? And I, I love watching people call people out. Because the same people who were championing how crazy Kendrick oh, whoa, was going. Whoa, whoa, whoa. That was it? That's how it all started? Yeah, it started over between Soldier Boy and Metro Boomin. I thought it was between, what's name? Soldier Boy and... um 21 Savage? Yeah. No, no. 21 Savage was taking up for Metro Boomin. Oh, I didn't even see that. So, so what did Metro? So, okay, so oh, I guess what, and, this, and just the, again when we talk about the, just the beef situation and just what's trending, I guess it was a tweet from almost 2011, and, me, and Metro Boomin tweeted out a tweet and it said, "Y'all answering the phone or sending beats to Soldier Boy, and I'm answering him the phone to go to the studio to work with Jeezy." So I don't know how random how Soldier Boy found that random tweet from 2011, and then he just wowed out on it, just like Metro Boom, you got 24 hours to delete this tweet. So it went from there to 21 Savage said, and, and what if he don't? Mm. And so then it just spiraled from then 21 Savage. And so of so course, what, was, what was Metro respond? He never responded. He never said nothing back. Okay. Because of course, that's it's okay. and, and that's why I say, that's why I'm just like, when you said that between Metro, I'm like, well, when the hell did Metro even say that? Metro Boomer never okay, said nothing right. back. But of course, but again, but again, just being honest, I cool. I like the 21 Savage is taking up for his man, but we do know the 21 Savage is about to go on tour. And I do feel like 21 Savage see this soldier boy is pussy. He think he's sweet. So let me introduce me because I'm 20. Well, let's be clear. 21 Savage has been super quiet through this whole Drake mm -hmm. and, and, and um Metro Boomer situation. And he even, but and he, he was, cleared the air. No, and he was on his Instagram live and people was of course trolling them on Instagram live for social media gonna be social media and he was like bro don't come on my live talking about no Drake and Metro Boomer both, both, both of them are my brothers and they gonna figure it out later I guarantee you they'll work together sooner than later because they let's be clear they been had their little feud and I felt like 21 Savage kind of was the one strong on it because for me just going off of the information that I heard from academics they didn't like each other when they was working on her laws Mm -hmm. And academics was making it like some of those did Drake was dissing Metro Boomer on some of them songs that he was the Metro Boomer was actually producing. Mm -hmm. So with all that being said, he's like, bro, they'll work, they eventually work together. So I'm I'm staying out of it. They'll figure it out, which is cool. And I do feel like and that is kind of who 21 Savage is because he did realistically, he even squashed them the academics in um in Meek Mill's beef until recently, whenever this no whole no Diddy situation came, and then academics start posting all the you know, so that kind of respond. But at one point in time, they kind of was neutral, they wasn't talking about each other, and they was kind of leaving it alone until recent. But then, like I said, with all that being said, so 21 Savage, you know, him and Soldier Boy going back, and then he uploaded a picture, I mean, uploaded an old video when um when 21, I mean when uh Soldier Boy. This happened before when I guess Soldier was like, Man, I ran a land or whatever the case may be, and no plug the dude who uh killed um Oh, what's my man name? A uh, street. Uh, what is it? Bankroll Fresh? Um, no, yeah, yeah, he was uh, bank, with Rick Ross in him, right? No, 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 no. He was with Two Chains. Two Chains. I'm about to say the street. Yeah, street. Okay, he was signing Street Exacts. Yeah, rest in peace to Bankroll Fresh. So, No Plug. That's what basically the sad thing is. That is who No. What No Plug is famous for, and that's that video. That uh, Vlad again, a Vlad interview. Him and Twenty One Savage both did a Vlad interview, and that's kind of like what his his claim to fame was. But anyway, so. No plug pressed Soldier Boy out before, and it was a video. Soldier Boy said, "Nah, bro, you taking the wrong boom boom." So Twenty One Savage research. I mean, I think either Twenty One Savage re-uploaded that video or No Plug re-uploaded that video when they had uh Young Thug. I mean, Twenty One. I mean, Soldier Boy, my bad. On Facetime, basically cop and plead. So they sit here and re-upload it. The case may be, but Soldier Boy kept dragging it, and he just kept disrespecting Metro Boom and mother. And then he was disrespecting Soldier Boy, like I mean, disrespecting Twenty One Savage. Like I ain't supposed to be scared of nobody from British or the UK or whatever the case may be. Da da da. da. So they was going back and forth, and the Twenty One Savage was like, "Yeah, cool, whatever." When I see you, you already know what it's going to be. And then that's and Meek Mills kind of inserted himself in that and was like. He asked. He asked. Uh, he asked uh, Soldier Boy if you keep threatening. Um, 21 Savage on social media. If he see you and do something on site because you promised to do something, I wonder will that be just uh can he use it as um self-defense? Because you're threatening him. You threaten him on social media. And what if he's just not willing to wait for what you're gonna do to him and he do something to you as soon as he see you? And then of course that's when Soldier Boy took it to hell with uh Meek Mills of like, ain't you um when you get hit in the butt by Diddy? So again, like I said, that was kind of me. I don't know how Meek inserted himself in some of this situation. I do feel like he kind of was just like. You you see the hot hand right now. I'm just going. I'm gonna keep. I'm gonna play the hot hand. The hot hand is beef right now in hip hop. So I'm just gonna keep playing the hand. But again, the reason why I wanted to bring this conversation up is, and I'm not mad at Metro. I'm sure Metro Boomer may not even been looking at social media because again, rest in peace to Metro Boomer. He literally just lost his mom. I want to say like two years ago to gun violence. I believe her her boyfriend at the time uh, killed her and took his own life. I believe so. I can't remember this. I know for a fact her boyfriend did kill her. I can't. I can't remember if he. I want to say he took his own life as well. So. 
that's kind of like Soldier Boy took it to hit, and I was like, damn, dog, that's kind of that is very distasteful and disgusting for, for Soldier to do that. But then I seen people, like I said, people were retweeting it, and I seen somebody they called the dude, he's like, no, why you they called this dude? I was like, you're saying this is disgusting, but you retweeting it. I would have never seen it. And that was the crazy thing is I follow this dude. I he right. I don't follow Soldier Boy. So I would have never seen it neither if you didn't retweet it. So it was the same thing. It was like people were like, sometimes you want to call stuff out and call out the behavior, certain things, but you're highlighting the behavior as well. Because for somebody like Soldier Boy, he's just looking for the antics. He's just looking for just the clicks. He's looking but, for the clicks, the retweets, why, and the views. And that's why I say I just feel like even in today's society, I feel like we know that is the thing that bring people to your sex um just just drama like that brings people and that's why you even say well how can you just why don't you all lift the positivity but we we already know it that part lifting that positivity don't really get you no pay attention uh, i think it's i think it just depends on how you do it because it's saying because we can I, I agree with what you're saying but then i disagree because we get people do it with sports there ain't no negative stories behind sports we highlight that we know you're right it's no negative it, it, it is negative but it's just like if we don't and you don't have to report on everything, but I feel like when it comes to like, even if you just say sports, when it's off season, oh, does such and such want to be traded? Such and such want to be this? Oh, such and such was talking with this person. Like, we're not in the locker room. Somebody said that. You just mm -hmm. going off of he say, she said. Mm -hmm. We don't know no actual facts, but that's what people get people. Oh, oh man, he about to get traded. Oh, he about to request for a trade. But then like, even like Kevin do it a lot. I never said that. Who said it? Who cites your source? And that's why I just feel like we thrive off of drama. Yeah, but I'm, but the only reason why I say I disagree because we then again just to bring Steph Curry back up, like oh, look at somebody like this. Though Steph Curry got Bible scriptures on the bottom and the inserts of his shoes, and that was the reason why he didn't sign with Nike because Nike didn't want to allow him to do it. And Under Armour did let it go, so that's what I'm saying. It's some people don't even Patrick Mahomes. It's some dudes who are got the squeaky clean image. Even looking like we said with Tom Brady for so long when he was with the Patriots, though he didn't say a word. So I that's why I say I disagree. Like, and I think that's just the sad thing is it's just something about black people when hip hop community. Because guess what? What's the what's the ain't no negative stories around Taylor Swift. What's the what's the what's the tea about Taylor Swift? She ain't got none. I mean, of course, outside of dating, but she a human. Yeah, I mean but, that's just regular but, human stuff. You got a bad breakup, cool. Why, I'm gonna put it into some music. But, but then I, that's why I say I just feel like even us as a culture or whatever, what we like and what we glorify, what we talk about, what we praise and what we say. Oh damn, shit, god damn, big chat. This is this is the thing, you know that that's what we do. No, I'm listening, but that, that's what I said. I'm not disagreeing with what you said, but I think we have to call it out and make it not seem like it's a thing. It's a black thing, and that's the sad part. Like we indulge in that. We need all that because again, like I said, we can people. We can talk about sports. We can go a name. Look, you got think about Charles Barkley was like people was mad at him. You think about how many years ago because he had that commercial with Nike. I'm not a role model. Like, because people sit here, when, when it comes to sports, like, people want the positive image. They want the positive, squeaky, clean athlete because he's more marketable. He's easier to promote. So that's my point of when I'm sitting here saying it's like, yeah, it's weak because these is, athletes are black, but I, because realistically, sports is not dominated. The fans aren't dominated by black people. And I think even somebody was saying that when, I, I think who bought that, uh, I want to say Charlemagne, when, they, when he was kind of defending Vlad a little bit, when the girl was saying, you you white, stay out of black people's business. And she he was kind of like, well, the sad thing is There's 70%, no, rap. no, 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 70% of hip hop fans are white. Mm-hmm. 70% of the people who take in the music and support and buy tickets are white. So if they actually literally just say, okay, cool, we gonna mind our business, guess what you won't have? You won't have no billionaires from hip-hop. You won't have no multi-millionaires from hip-hop because if we got it, and we talked about this even when we talked about Angel Reese and Kaylin Clark, you can, we had to just literally rely only on the black dollar. Don't necessarily know how far it will take you. So it's just that is what the case may be. And like I said, it's a sad case, but just to see how many people was kind of like, saying that soldier boy was taking it too far but then people were like you know people keep receipts especially just somebody you follow and you kind of really like their content and people was calling them out like okay but just a week ago y'all was cool with kendrick lamar taking it to hell on drake but you sit here saying that soldier boy taking it too far with metro Boomin. what's the difference because both of them talking about somebody family but <clears throat> that's why I, when you when you when you say that right i think it's it, it's not, it's, it's a reverse. I mean, you're not irrelevant right now. And for you to just come out, like I said, for you to come out there and dig up that old tweet, Metro didn't say that. It wasn't like something that was recently that was tweeted. You saying that tweet was from 2000 and whatever. We bring it up. Nobody asked for that tweet. So that's why I'm just like, even me, I'm just looking at him like, well, 
Soldier, you was reaching like nobody. That no, wasn't course, no, no, that course, was no, 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 no. Nobody ain't saying that you. I get you. You. I get what you're saying. You ain't even got to go hawk and back on it. We all can agree. Soldier boy is reaching. The game is reaching. It's just beef, people who are starting up just random beef is reaching. But the point of what the biggest part of it is is the community. How do we pick and choose what's taking it too far, and why do we clamor to negative stuff? Because how do you see how in one voice, one week you can be okay with? Kendrick Lamar and Drake going back and forth and bringing each other kids and family into it, but then say Soldier Boy is taking it too far with Metro Bowman. And I, like I said, I respect 21 for taking up for him, but I do can kind of sit here and see, like, all right, 21, you kind of been quiet for this whole time. Why I sit here and pick on Soldier Boy? Because Metro Bowman, that's a fair fight for you. Y'all the same size. Soldier Boy is relevant for music. Metro Bowman should be able to defend himself as a man. Screw it if he don't rap on that. He can get on social media and defend himself as a man, or he could just pull up on Soldier Boy and fight the fair one. Especially if he was disrespecting my mother. Like I said, and I'm gonna give him a pass because I mean it was Mother's Day, and I don't, I have, and I still have my mom, so I don't necessarily. I'm sure that's a hard day for a lot of people to deal with when it comes to social media on those holidays. And and I do, and that's, and I feel like we could have that conversation in a minute because I do. I send my thoughts and prayers out to a lot of women who have to battle with being a mom and may have already lost their mom like that. I don't even know how you deal with that holiday because I know it's tricky because you still want to celebrate yourself as a mother, but then you kind of don't have, ah, I swear that, that mother's day is, oh, that's a, that is one of the most, probably the trickiest holidays out of all the holidays. I think all of them. Yeah. All of them. When, yeah, of course, when you start to lose family members close to you, or if you, or if you lost a family member, um, close to the holidays, but that one is still, cause it's like, how do you kind of like and the reason why I say that one get a little bit more tricky because like how do you celebrate yourself and you probably really not even in the mood to celebrate nothing because your mom ain't here like that one is tough though especially for women who got like you have to deal with that one I send my thoughts and prayers out to y'all with that one because I know that's a hard one like and I don't that's not even a conversation I don't even want to have with somebody even ask them how do they balance it but that is kind of like I do I want to I want to ask people like how do they deal with it, but I just don't want to ask them because like how do you even have that conversation? But I know that that's a tough joke to handle. 